Hey, what's going on guys? This is Exterminator, and this is going to be my first uh, kind of map breakdown and exploration, I guess you could say. So, I've been thinking about this, and I think that the best way for me to do this would be to just do like, uh, j just like show you guys the map, just like explore it, show you like some just like general spots and jumps and stuff, and then once I go through that with all the maps um by that time i'll probably know the maps a lot better and then i can do some actual like jumps and spots and tips and tricks that are just like you know like separate little things throughout the map and uh i mean i guess i could do all that at once but it would probably be a while because i need to know the maps better and i don't want to keep you guys waiting so this is just kind of for those of you who uh who don't know the maps too well or just getting the game you know because I'm there's gonna be people just getting the game for a long time so yeah I'm just gonna kinda explore the map and tell you some things as I go along so let's start here this in domination uh, one of the capture points would be right here and you can actually capture it by standing kind of here like along this pillar you can kinda capture it so that's good and so then we'll go this way you can come around through here and this is kind of a long line of sight but you know not too much it just sees like right into here and we'll just go here um, there's this little room here and this is actually a really good room um, if you have something, this probably, this gun probably wouldn't be best, the UMP, but if you have something that has like mid to long range, you can sit in here and these, this has some really long lines of sight. And if you go like right up against this corner, you can see people who turn this corner. So that's a really good place to be. And like here too. Something I noticed about these Modern Warfare 3 maps, there's a whole ton of like head glitching spots. So yeah, this is just, we were right over here this is just another way around and yeah you can't actually get in there but you can hop up here and you can't head glitch by crouching but it's kind of a head glitch they can see more than your head but you're like half protected here and this is an even better line of sight and then as we move along here this is just a long corridor and you know I haven't seen very many people go here so I mean, I guess you could watch this, but you can come up these stairs and get into this building. I've noticed this building's pretty popular. I, like, never go in here, but I've run into a whole ton of campers, like, when I pass through it, or I see people camping in here, and uh, it has a line of sight to this building, which is really popular over here, and it obviously has a line of sight to over there, and, uh... You then come out here, and another capture point would be right over here somewhere, I think, is where it is. So you can do this and uh, get a view from that, pick people off. Then we come along here, and I'll just show you in here really quick. This is just the basement. There's nothing, or not the basement, but you see what I mean. Um, second level, or first level sorry and uh this is this, this is kind of dangerous here because i mean if someone's up there they have the height advantage and they could get you so then we come along here and you can kind of hop up here maybe well you can somehow hop up here and uh you can actually fall down there if uh you so desired yeah like that so, because there's no, like, prompt thing, you know how it says to jump, but you can fall down there and you'll die. That's good for, like, the challenge where you have to, like, fall 30 feet and die. So, <clears throat> this, this isn't, th this isn't a very useful spot. Um, here, we have this whole area, and if you go down here... This is just obviously underneath this, and uh, 
it brings me to over here. And this up here is a prime spot. <laughs> I can't believe they made it this easy. Like, if you have, again, something with, or even this gun, really, you can glitch pretty well. Like, right here, this is really head glitching, and you can just pick people off down there. And then we'll move into here. And to get into here, there's just a ladder if you wanted to come that way. It's pretty obvious. And then this, this is a... I mean, it has a lot of sight to this really popular building, but it's pretty dangerous. Just because, I mean, you see how wide open it is. There's there's not much to hide behind. And, uh... But one of the domination points is also going to be in here. So, that's going to be B-Dom. And, uh... This is pretty good. I mean, you have a little more cover, but, um... Not a whole ton. This is a pretty popular building, though. And you can just come out here, and that's where we were up there. I mean, even now, it's kind of hard to see. Or you can hop up here. I don't really know what you would do here, but... <laughs> um, you can also hop up on this. You know, sit here. Whatever you want to do. And something I've done is if you actually sit behind these, unless someone's looking directly at them it's really hard to see you if you sit behind these and you have almost perfect view so you that this is kind of the counter spot to up there unless they're actually looking at it and actually well up here this is just where we started right up here and here another nifty way to get up into this building and this is actually probably the best way you can either lead with a stun slash uh, or a flash whatever if you hop up on the dumpster, there's kind of there's not going to be a prompt again, but you can hop up here, and boom, you're in this building. So you know you can surprise people here, and uh, here is yet another entrance from down there. And then you can go up here. I don't think you can. Yeah, you can't really get up there. But we have our DVD or book kind of bookstore here. <laughs> and uh, it just comes back out to where we started and then if you go down these stairs you can wrap around back to this area and keep going these maps they're, they're interesting because there's multi levels and everything kind of connects so you really have to be careful you can be flanked a lot so then you're down here and this is why BDOM is like so hard to take because there's so many different areas you can you can do and this is a really hot building and you can actually get in here but it's kind of annoying sometimes because you can't really like run and jump crouch in like that you see I got stuck you have to just go up and hop right in here and if you damn it not climb up the railing if you come in here this is why it's so good you have a really nice line of sight to everything over here and then boom right over into there B Dom all over there so this is a really hot building you just got to be careful because I mean people will be nading in here coming up the stairs all that stuff and that is about the whole map um I'm not sure if I can do it but there's actually yet yeah, another god damn it there's another way up into the um yeah I know I don't know I'm failing but if you hop up on here and then on the here you can actually like my jump key isn't even working but you hop onto these awnings and then you can either hop onto here and then back onto here and hop up here or you can hop onto here onto here and then just go straight from this awning onto that window so this is a it's a medium sized map but again there's so many lines of sight and flanks and stuff. You uh, you gotta be careful. I'm just gonna sit here trying this until we run out of time. But yeah, this is uh, what is it? Sea Town or Seaside? And that's really all there is to show here. But yeah, you hop onto here and then onto here, and you could jump up there. But Anyway, I hope this helped, and again, I'll be doing more advanced breakdowns of maps um, after I go through these, but this was kind of just an exploration and to show you. So, please leave uh, some comments, uh, feedback. 
you know let me know if you want me to do this or if you would rather just me wait and just do all of it at once you know like explore it and give you like advanced jumps and spots um because i know for some people this probably isn't very helpful or entertaining but um, i know when i started modern warfare 2 there were a lot of people doing just like exploring the maps and just showing some general stuff and it really helped me so i'm hoping this helps some people and yeah if it did just please uh rate comment and uh subscribe if you want to see more so thanks again, and I will see you guys in my next video.